Hi, this is Dr. Amanda with Tiger Family Chiropractic and Wellness Center. Thank you for joining me today. What I want to discuss with you has to do with posture. And so you may remember from your childhood or other experiences in life, somebody, maybe a relative, who used to tell you like, sit up straight, get your shoulders back, get your head up. Um, and they were super like intense on what your posture looked like. And so it may feel like this repetitive story in your memory of like quote unquote nagging, uh, but there is actually some really foundational health related to our posture. And so one of the studies that they've done is to look at a number of individuals and they divided them into four categories. And one category would be people with near perfect or, or perfect posture. And the next category would be like the next loss of posture and then the next and the next. And what they found was that the more a person lost their ability to have good posture, the more their health was compromised. And this is health with consideration to how the patient reported feeling, but also the objective things that the doctor could measure about their health. So meaning their vitality, their overall experience in life was compromised because of a loss of posture over time. Now, posture isn't as simple as like, maybe someone said, sit up straight, get your shoulders back, get your head up. It's not that simple because a lot of people experience discomfort when they sit up tall, right? Like when they use good posture, they hurt. This is your body talking to you. You know, your body will naturally compensate to hide pain, like it wants to avoid pain. So if this is painful, we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do this. The other thing is people, when they're engaged, they naturally like gravitate toward it. Like this video, like as I do it, I'm getting closer and closer and closer as I discuss these subjects with you because I'm engaged in it. That's the same for our daily work, for a book we might read, for a show we might watch on an iPad or a phone. It's a natural tendency for number one, to compensate to hide pain, and number two, to gravitate toward the things we're focused on. And with that in mind, we can start to appreciate that posture, number one, it's important, but number two, it's not as simple as people make it out to be. So what about those like posture bras, if you will, that hold you in the proper posture position? Yeah, I think for most people, it's important to remember bracing, and that would be like a style of brace, has a short window of appropriate use. For example, if I was gonna lift something way too heavy for myself, but I had to do it, a back brace would be something that I could utilize temporarily to get through that one incident. If I need to lift something every day that's too heavy for me, I need to train. Because the more I use the back brace in daily use, the more I become dependent on it. The muscles in my body are like, hey, if you're gonna do the work for me, I don't need to do it. And our body stops making muscle to the same extent in those areas. Similar to a posture corrective device, the more you wear it, the more you're going to need it because it will result in muscle weakness. I far prefer to address instead the reason that your posture is compensated. Can we get to the reason that you're uncomfortable in that position so that you can be upright? Can we create strategies within your home and your work life so that you have some natural or automatic things that protect you from being overly engaged or being too long in a position um, where you're reading or, or utilizing your devices? Some of the changes we've seen regarding posture. I'm gonna, I can't like flip this, but I'm gonna show you on this video, or excuse me, this um, computer, what's happening inside of people relating to this posture shift. So I think you can see with me, this is a person's neck. And so I'm gonna set this down because I did this video earlier and I accidentally turned it off <laughs> because I was trying to hold it and do this at the same time. Okay, so here we go. Here's the person's base of the skull and you can see their neck bones right here. So the neck, I know it's kind of glarish, bear with me. The neck should curve forward toward the front. So we should have a C-shaped curve going this direction. Instead, this person's spine is super straight. So in this situation, instead of the weight of the head resting on these bony pillars, the weight of the head has to be held up by all of the muscles in the neck and shoulders. So you can imagine this person has a 10, like 10 out of 10 on tension. They're super tense, they have headaches, they have neck discomfort, that kind of stuff. The other thing that happened for this individual is that their body actually began to grow extra bone to make up for this. So see right here, this little hook 
is going to be extra bone growth. So you may have seen recently on social media, like the children are growing horns, like have you seen it? This is exactly what we're talking about. It goes out of the back of the head. It's extra bone for the muscle to grab onto to help hold the head up because the muscles are getting so tired from having that constant job. This person isn't a child, they're well into their adult years. And so the reflection I have on that is I feel like kids now have more screen time than ever before. And this individual still has a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, but our children are at more risk, right? Like people are at risk to have this shift, this change occur. And I certainly don't think that a horn is the technical term for it, but it's what has been coined as the term in those social media circles. So I wanted to offer explanation for how it happened, what happened, and to empower you to make decisions, to take your posture and your family's posture as something that is important and vital for their health because everything in science and in experience teaches us that it is. It's super important for them, for you, for us. We want you to have a vital experience in life. So uh, join us. We'd love to take care of you and your family. And thanks for coming up to watch today.